Y'all, I got to tell you about all the new metal that dropped this weekend. It was full of bangers. Welcome, metalheads. I'm the host of Heavy Metal Philosophy and writer for Metal Digest, John Barbus. Make sure you stick around to the end of the episode for this week's album art of the week, and I've got some news to talk about. But as always, I'm bringing you my top five favorite metal albums that dropped this weekend. But before we do the top five, as is customary, I always talk about the big bands. And this week we got a new album from Chelsea Grin. It's called Suffer in Heaven. It's my latest assignment for Metal Digest. I just got done writing my review. That should be published in the next, maybe at the time of this releasing, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. But you can look in the description for links to all my writings for Metal Digest. Now let's do the top five. Coming in at number five, we've got Aftermath with no time to waste. This is a fun one. I've never seen this genre before. It's technical, progressive thrash metal. And you know what? That label is fitting. For the most part, it sounds like old school thrash with a lot of punk rock attitude, but quite often they'll just break into some odd time signatures or some weird guitar stuff and that makes it really stand out to me. I love it, you will too, check it out. Coming in at number four, we've got Greystag with Call of the Mountain. That really resonates with me because I always feel the Call of the Mountain. This is some progressive sludge metal. I don't know why it's really labeled that way because I don't know, it seems pretty straightforward to me. I mean, yeah, it gets a little weird sometimes, but does that really make it prog? This is a really straightforward sludge with a lot of attitude, and I love it for that reason. You will too. Check it out. Coming in at number three, it's Cruelty with a K, like Mortal Kombat. The name of the album is Untopia, and this is Death Metal. If you don't quite get the spelling, no problem. Text on the screen, and as always, the links to every band's band camp will be in the description for you to find. I really like this one because it's death metal and I love death metal, but this is quality death metal. It's got a nice groove to it and I love that there's two different vocal styles going on. Not sure if they've got two singers, it sounds like maybe they've got two singers, but that gives it a little variety and a dynamic boost every time that they trade off with each other. I really dig it. Check out this insanely chaotic album art. Death metal, y'all. Coming in at number two, and I hope I can get away with saying this, the name of the band is Pendejo, and the name of the album is Volcan. Pendejo has a exclamation mark upside down and a regular exclamation mark on the other side of it. Again, text on the screen so you see what I'm talking about. This is Stoner Doom, but that doesn't really quite label it correctly because there's a lot of punk rock delivery in the vocals and there's horns in this. It's all in Spanish, so I hope they're not saying something I don't agree with, but I know the vibe is awesome. And hey, before we do number one, if you love metal the way that I love metal, you're in the right place and you should join the heavy metal philosophy community. Especially, you don't want to miss next week's podcast because on Tuesday, I'm going to release the next episode of the podcast where I will break down my experience, my first time experience in the photo pit of a concert. I got the extreme privilege of getting a press pass and taking photos for Rotting Christ, Crack Angrand, Yawada, and Gay. Area. I mean, how's that for a first gig? And I have to say, now that I've gotten the pictures, I was a little nervous, but I think I did an okay job. So I will tell you about the experience leading up to it, what I did while I was there, how the bands were. It's going to be a fun podcast. Make sure you get it if you're subscribed. And also as a bonus, if you are subscribed, you can look in the community tab and see some of the shots I've already taken early and you can read my review for Metal Digest. Now let's do number one. Coming in at number one, we've got Four Token with Triumphs. This is symphonic, melodic, death metal. I love this one, y'all. It's like epic battle music, and there's a little bit, just a little bit of black and death in there. You know, a lot of times when you hear the label Mellow Death, you think of like kind of soft bands that scream every now and again, you know, like power metal with death metal vocals, not this. Like I said, it's got like a, almost a black and death vibe to it. They never do that clean singing. They didn't forget about the death metal part of Mellow Death, but you know, there's soaring guitars everywhere and symphony and it's about battle. So 
I guess the label fits. All I know is the music sounds awesome and that's why it's number one. But we're not done yet. Now let's talk about the album art of the week. For this week's album art of the week, the band is Iowa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Text on the screen as always. The name of the album is The Year Without a Summer. And look at this art. You've got a person holding another person in, an, in a sorrowful embrace in a barren field. And when you Google the year without a summer, not only will you get this album, but it'll also bring up an article about the year 1816, where global temperatures dropped by almost an entire degree Celsius, and it was still on record the coldest summer ever in European history. So I can only imagine what that did to agriculture and as a consequence society. I want to look more into this. That's why I picked this album art, because it made me curious. And when you're going through the records at the record store, the ones that make you curious are the ones you buy. That's great album art. I like it when the music is about something. I like it when the art is about something. And it's got a pretty unique art style, too, that you don't really see in metal that often. Love it. As a bonus, it's black metal, and it's actually pretty good. I don't normally like black metal, but I like this because there's chugs in it. It's not just tremelo picking. They also chug. They also growl right up my alley. Now for this week's headline, Mudvayne is teasing a little something. We got blessed by them getting back together to tour. But does this mean we're getting new music from Mudvayne? You know I'll be all over it. I'm going to cover it if they do. So you should be subscribed. But tell me what you think in the comments about the music that we highlighted this week, about the art, and are you excited for Mudvayne? I want to know. If you like any of the bands, hit like. It helps spread the word. And speaking of metal, last week's podcast, click right here, Death Metal versus Black Metal, which one I think is best. Next week's podcast is going to be fun too. But most importantly, read philosophy, listen to metal. I love you.